Welcome to Go Learning Point tutorial. So in this session, we'll see what is the difference between uh, row num and row number. So the first difference that we have is row num is a pseudo column and row number is uh, an analytical function. So row num is just a pseudo column. It is uh, just like a placeholder that is used for the sequencing purpose, just to assign uh, the sequence number to the result cell that you are getting from your select statement. So it's just a placeholder that assigns sequence to your result cell. So row number is also going to assign a uh, sequencing to uh, to your table records, but this is based on the group and uh, order by clause. So this is also using the window clause where you will have to specify that in which particular column you want to group uh, the number of records returning from the query. And then based on that group, uh, the Oracle will assign the sequence number to each of the rows. So row number is going to assign group wise sequencing. So let's say for example, if I have employee department relationship and I want to identify that uh, in each of the department, which particular uh, employee is getting the highest salary. So in that case, this can be achieved uh, using row number or any other analytical function, which is assign ranking or sequencing number based on the group or based on the department number. If you're using a row number uh, by default, uh, your result set will uh, come in ascending order. So if you are changing the order of your result set, then the row number will also get jumbled based on the result set. So it is not going to show the sequencing based on the result set you are uh, ordering. Uh, either in ascending order or descending order, your row numbers, uh, row num will also get jumbled. So if your result set is having five number of records, by default it will be one, two, three, four, five. And if you do it in descending order, then it will also get jumbled as five, four, three, two, one. Okay, but in such cases, the row number uh, will be used that is going to uh, give the same sequencing based on your result set. Okay, so if you uh, place order by clause in the query, the row num column's value gets jumbled. But that doesn't happen in case of row number analytical functions. So let's see this practically how it works. So I have a table. Uh, select a strict from employee and let me just show you what I have in this table I have eight number of records and uh, if I just place a uh, row num here comma everything from the employee table okay so what I would get the default sending order row numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. Now, just, let's just do each order by ID in descending order and see uh, what would be the difference in this row num column. So this row number, uh, row num columns also gets jumbled based on the results that I have uh, ordered uh, in descending order. Right. Now, how uh, the row number function uh, will work in this case. So here I will just use row number over
order by ID and this would be my rank so if you see I have got one two three four five six seven eight now if I change the order of this column and the sending my row number sequencing will also get changed accordingly so even if you have sorted the ID column in deciding order you have got the same sequence as one two three four five six seven eight okay so in such cases analytical functions will be used so when row num is basically used it is just for the limiting purpose so if you have a result set and you want to limit your result set to some row number or to still some extent so you'll be using row number without worrying about what you're getting as your result set right so row num is useful when you have to limit a number of rows to fetch without worrying about the exact data being fetched as you have seen in the previous step that row num is going to get jumbled based on the result set you are ordering in ascending or descending order and row, uh, row number analytical function will be useful when you want to limit the rows based on subgroup and based on some windows class windowing class will be used in analytical function and based on some group or column name you want to limit the rows like for example based on the department you want to limit the rows for the highest salary highest paid employee in each of the department right so row number is more useful in such cases now the next is row uh, row num can be used directly inside the single query to limit the number of rows but row number cannot be used in the where condition directly so you'll have to identify the ranking inside the subquery and then in the outer query i can use that row number to limit the number of rows in the where condition okay so row num is generated before uh, sorting so it can be used in the where clause as we discussed and row number cannot be used so you'll have to uh, create a subquery and then you will have to use that in outer query to limit the number of rows so let's see this practically if you have this table imply uh, and if you want to limit the rows you can directly use where row num is less than or equal to 5 so you'll get 5 records now if you want to do let's suppose an example I want to get the number of records from a table from each of the department and the employee details who is getting the highest salary in each of the department right so how I'll be writing that query select so first of all I'll have to assign the ranking based on the department so I'll do the partition by department ID and the order by the salary in descending order so what I'll be doing is uh, select everything from that table then my analytical function over I'll have to group it by department so I'll be using the partition by this is my window clause partition by DPT ID and order by I want to get the highest salary so I'll be doing order by salary column and in descending order so if I want to get the minimum salary for each of the department I'll be doing descending order so I'll skip this descending clause right so this would become my rank now let's see what ranks we're gonna get from this query is uh, oh, I forgot to give alias so see what I've got for these are my departments in 10 department I have got one two ranking 30th department I have only one employee so one ranking 40th department I have three employees so one two three and for 50 we have one and two okay so now as these are base uh, these are ordered in salary descending order for each of the department now I want to get the highest paid employee in each of the departments so I'll be writing an outer query select everything from this will become my subquery 
now this rank that I have got from analytical function row number will be visible in the outer query there I can write where this particular value equal to 1 so that I can get uh, the highest paid employee in each of the department so I will just try to execute this so this is the result I have got so these are the employees in each of the department who are the highest paid within the organization so these are some differences between row num and row number analytical functions so to uh, so to see uh, to understand the difference practically you can just go to my blogger site and you can, you can identify that uh, particular block where I have mentioned the practically the execution plan of using the row number and row num pseudo column and so I'll just take you to the, my uh, home page the blogger home page here you can just search for uh, for the row num and I have this row num versus row number analytical function this one uh, you can just go by topic and here it is so you can just open this and you can just go through all the things we discussed and you can you'll also find the examples where I have uh, explained practically how uh, the execution plan is going to be in case of row num and in case of uh, row number and critical function so I'm going to paste all these things to the video description link and thanks for watching my tutorial and like, share and subscribe to get more updates.